another Diodora tennis model and this is probably my favorite Hey guys, welcome back to a Kickstarter's channel. Today we're looking at another great classic tennis model. This is the Duratec Elite, and this is another pair I grabbed from eBay on a very old price. I think shipped was around $40. They came from the UK. If you guys seen uh, one of my latest videos on the other model, the, the Rebound Ace, uh, this one shares a lot of similarities to that one. Uh, but some notable differences as well. Just like the other one, this one comes uh, in the same green box with Diodora branded uh, paper. And the design is slightly different, but I will point you to the similarities right away. And this is the midsole and outsole. They feature the exact same Diodora double action with translucent outsole rubber. I mentioned my story before, I remember seeing those in 93 and this was the first sneaker I actually saw with translucent outsole and I was absolutely blown away that they're actually showing the double action system and the bottom. Uh, now this one is the elite model like I mentioned and you will see on the ton and on the close up some of the details. Uh, it says Diodora Elite and in the back we have Diodora branding and then the double action stitched branding is right on the lateral side. Now just like the Rebound Ace, we have a completely genuine leather toe box with perforated leather for ventilation, a genuine leather a toe guard right around and uh, this black portion in the back here as well is genuine leather. Of course the Diodora branding in the back is just uh, printed, it's not stitched, but the double action on the side with the red and green is stitched and uh, inside we have a gray inner liner. The design of this one is a little bit different than the Rebound Ace. We have a little bit more uh, side paneling, a little bit more overlays and the top lace loops are reinforced with this uh, pink plastic. You will see it and instead of Diodoro on the first lace loop we have double action branding. So these were the top uh, level model at the time and I remember this specific colorway looking at it. Uh, how loud it was. I really like that combination between the pink, the blue, the black and the white. And these, just like the other ones, uh, they fit slightly bigger, so keep that in mind if you like a nice snug fit and if you're planning to play a tennis in them, just like myself, just go half a size down and they're gonna do the job just right. The EVA on the midsole is very soft, they're super comfortable. Um, I'm not sure if the double action system is just like in the old days, but I think they're super comfortable and very bouncy, especially when you start breaking them down. Uh, and if you're playing, again, if you're playing tennis, uh, I think you're gonna have a great time with these. I think uh, Diodora did an excellent job bringing these retros to the public. They have a tons of modern day tennis models, but honest to God, I'd rather buy these and play tennis in them because they're just as good. Uh, they're very nostalgia driven. They have genuine materials. The system is there. Uh, they're very comfortable, very cushiony, very durable. Um, just like the other ones, we're missing the stitching in the front of the toe box, but I'm sure with all the glue uh, they've applied here, you're not gonna have a problem. It's just uh, uh, something that they decided to skip on for whatever reason. You guys obviously gonna see them on feet, how they look. In my opinion, they look absolutely excellent on feet. Uh, again, can't emphasize how much comfort they're providing. Uh, a lot of retros these days, you try them on and you instantly think, these are not comfortable. They're not like I remember them. Uh, but these Diodoras, they're definitely uh, providing plenty of comfort. Now, I don't remember 30 years ago if the double action system was more comfortable or more bouncy. Some models were, but these tennis models were a little bit more uh, supportive and at the same time, uh, very, very comfortable. And again, I'm glad that I was able to grab these uh, because on theadora.com in the US, uh, they have been sold out for a while, but tracking them down on eBay didn't take that long. Um, and I grabbed uh, several pairs for my friend, if you guys saw my previous video, for myself. And I'm actually planning to get another one of this specific colorway because I love it so much. And like I mentioned, I'm planning to play tennis in them. And if they get destroyed further down the line, I just wanna have another backup pair to play in because I like them very, very much. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. There's a lot more videos coming very, very soon. I'm trying to push as much as possible daily. I have tons of sneakers that just arrived at the house. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.